14 court courtroom nine court 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 the court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Mm -hmm. Tables. <gasps> Emma didn't come back. There goes Faith's role for the rest of the episode. Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Oh shit, I gotta play three characters. So, you want Darian to be the judge? No. Witness, please state your name and occupation. I mean, if he wants to. No. I can. <laughs> I just said no for him. Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man, same as you, wandering the trails of civilization. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Oh, I know. You're a patrolman. Yeah, where to go, Judge? As far as my they name, were. if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, your honor. Howling wind. I've never heard it. Andrew Edgeworth described that way before. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room when the day of the crime took place. Is this correct? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperado soul is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. Judge, you're really going through an identity crisis right now. <laughs> yes, three Maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. Please share with us your testimony of the day of the crime. In English. <laughs> <laughs> My job was to keep a wary eye on that bow and ochre. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, I was a street side saloon. I was at a street side saloon at the time it went down. I'm just an innocent yeah. traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time to hit the trail. It really sounded like he wasn't at work when he was. That's all was happening. <laughs> the way <laughs> this dude just keeps talking. I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining about it. Damn! Oh, hell no, Check you go straight to the electric chair. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cowpoke like you knows about those. Yes, well, what about the fingerprint activated locks inside the evidence room? Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of new fangled doohickeys are those? He's not being very hopeful. He's not that good with machines or following orders. Everyone's got their weakness, now don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. I hate. Uh, I mean, okay, Mr. Wright, it's all yours. We want to press the shit out of everything. Yeah. Day of the crime. My job was press to keep him so hard. Poo comes out. My job was to keep a wary eye on that bone ogre. How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure nothing moved from the security camera monitor. That room's so still. Even Tom dies in there. It was just a caretaker. I was just a caretaker who entered the room. The Fuck. <laughs> you entered. Entered them. Videos of nothing aren't that useful. When the time would come, I would erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, tapes would be to erase every six hours. Each time I'd erase the tape, it felt like I was erasing a part of my life. This guy is a flair for the dramatic, but it isn't going to do him any good. Mm. So, in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Ain't you heard a word I said, partner? I told you that I ain't my style. Um, I'm afraid I don't understand. No desperado knows let's rule. I know let's rules get in this way. No desperados, I know join the police force. There ain't here. So, Officer Marshall. On the day of the crime? Just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. 
There was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner. Can't say I do. I haven't been in that crypt for weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired? This? Yeah. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyways. You used to be a detective, so you've used the evidence room in the past, correct? Of course. Back in the day, my locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Sorry, partner. I ain't good with machines. I couldn't even tell you how a bike works. That is oh, real that's bad. Quite, that's quite uh, incredible. It's cap. The sensors on the locker handles cannot be seen. It's well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. Now that he mentions it, Detective Umshu says something like that too. Darren? At any rate, it doesn't seem like this is relevant to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing when the crime took place? If I remember right, I was at a street side saloon at the time it went down. What were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. Goat. Not even Angel Steak lunches can beat that Paula's Van Gogh's bit Sapia's pasta. Fuck, I messed that all up. Do you mean to tell us? You abandon your police duties to eat some fucking noodles, nigga? Well, too bad jokes. Not all, not all desperados eat tacos, partner. <laughs> oh, I don't want to give you too much to cut out. That's not what I meant. Hope this is. <clears throat> I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. That's strange. This is usually where Edward says. Objection. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, when he says bing 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 bing. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. Out of ammo, Officer Marshall? Okay, that was said. Fucking awful. <laughs> That's right, partner, or as you'd call it, evidence. If you plan to pin me to this crime, then you'd better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. My steel horse is waiting to carry me back to the west, into the sunset. Steel horse. Oh. Darren. Spook lit. Mm. One thing seems clear. Despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, the witness doesn't appear to have any have seen anything. Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. But you're not from Texas. Apparently his superiors don't. Okay, I have a trump card up my sleeve, so I best keep my cool. Before I use it, though, I better up the ante. So we gotta show him something, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we show? <laughs> yeah, that's right. No. Oh. Right. Right. Very right, next. Okay. Go to present. Do you think we should present the list of people in the IDs? Suit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me. I would just wonder who 777 is, honestly. I wonder. That could be him. Oh, okay, so we'll prove anything because it's at, at yeah, the moment. There's literally no shown. way we could prove that right now, anyway. So next slide. Oh, so you're saying it's too advanced for what the game wants. That's yes. not what I'm saying. Okay. Well, what else we got? What else? I don't think we have a lot of fucking shit. Oh, his handprint. Oh yeah, we could show Marshall's. Oh, that. no wait, no, he said he wanted to save that though, Brittany. Oh uh, yeah. Save it for what? I mean, I think. I think I don't know. What are we trying to? We're trying to prove that he was there, like actually there, who witnessed something, right? So I guess then. I don't know. Yeah, just I present it. If, if Ace Phoenix doesn't want to use it, then the game will tell us. Oh, that was right. Yeah. All right, cool. Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as well, I don't know, odd? That is, yeah. you being called in to testify like this. After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. Sure, you 
it's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. Hmm, this is a real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. I pay my respects, that is, make my rounds, about once a month. It's only natural my fingerprints would be there. Yeah, my dick. I only wish it were, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. I cut myself, obviously. Witness! Fuck! <laughs> your bloodstained fingerprints were at the crime scene, bruh? The blood was wiped away, however. A luminol test clearly reveals this. Well, Mr. Uh, nigga. It seems to me there ain't a person in this room with the head on the shoulders. So you're all dumb. I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall. About the blood-stained fingerprints. Very well. You may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. Found at the scene of the crime. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as a bloodstained handprint. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or, didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? See, I had nothing to do with it. How did he know the murderer was wearing gloves again? He did. We did just mention a glove to him before him. Hmm. I mean, the witness explanation we... appears valid. You're valid, man. <laughs> you valid. You Although, valid. there's room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. You're a little oh, bit man. too brown for me to trust you. The defense you may now cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something. I can feel it. Now it's my chance to prove it. What would he be hiding? That's 777? Mm-hmm. Mm that like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. Press and everything. That's because you, how do you put it, pay your respects once a month? Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. What? What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean by that? I mean what I said. That's the lock I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. All that's in there now, though, is a heap of broken dreams. I see. It'd be strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. Apparently his fingerprint data was never changed. He must have been using a fingerprint lock without even knowing it. Fingerprints updated in the court record. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. Found on the bloody handprint of Marshall's own locker, the print has been wiped. Hmm. That was press key. So then, what about the bloody handprint? <laughs> Wasn't mine, it's no mystery. Hey, Dad, Sorry, like, I had to get a water bottle. Uh, Bro, water. explain. My lock is <laughs> my lock is covered with my fingerprints. It just so happened the murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. That's really fucking me up. The chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. Chances of that not happening are a million to one. Get one thing straight, right, partner. Scientist. You ain't gonna get no reward for a mere fingerprint. You wanna know why? The blood stain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. That is the worry sheet. Unrelated. There's difference night and day. Kinda like cereal and cereal. One's okay, gotta do with breakfast, while other is a type of murder. Hmm. Mm, that's some good wordplay. He's right. Although seemingly alike, they are totally different. Thank you for. I don't see what information. have to do with this. 
Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? How do you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up on the reports. There was a blood stain at the scene thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found on Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Oh uh, yeah, I think we're try we tried that too. Mm, so that would mean... Murderer wearing gloves happened to place his hand on top of Officer Marshall's fingerprint? That's the only logical conclusion. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? No. The picture? The seal of blood in the desert is just food for the buzzards. There's only one reality, and that's this. The same one? The security tape? So long as my trail isn't there, you can't say otherwise. Oh. Well, thank you for giving us a shot. There. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully where you're going with this cross-examination. Alright. Mm. Now then, continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. Please. Too bad it wasn't Bro. me in that video, right, partner? We can oppress that. I will literally kill you. I will literally turn you into a- What do you mean by that? You want to tie me to this crime, isn't that right, partner? If so, that video is the only direct evidence you have. But that video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Yeah. Blind spots? Places you can't see. The camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, he could leave the room without being caught on tape. You no, don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, if you can show evidence in this video that indicates Officer Marshall was present, please do so now. What the fuck? Alright, well, I guess we gotta give it a try. Mm -hmm. You know how them neighbors be. Very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might wind up being the one making the mistake. You are a mistake. And then losing an exclamation mark. Now then, let's have another look at the video. Show us this incriminating evidence of the witness, Officer Jake Marshall. I don't know how we're supposed to find him in the same exact video we watched. I'm a little teapot short and stout. Tip me over and semen comes out. <laughs> Beats up Can a person. Who the fuck out that nigga? I just realized that. Yeah, that did happen. He said, where's your mommy at, nigga? It's your little ass so. So unless we're gonna say Jake Marshall was the dude that, uh, sacked the police officer, uh, I have no idea. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait. It's the one on the far left, right? What about the yeah. Oh, yeah, that's his locker. The very far left, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think I saw it. Looks like a hand. Uh, I want to see this fight scene. Over no, there. I think I saw it. Damn, he just smacked him and he said, <laughs> is that bitch? Is that Luke? <laughs> Alright, now pause it. That piece of cloth wasn't there when, when the video started, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, I didn't even notice that. Mm-hmm. 
That's the small do. stuff that, that I can't notice. Like that that String our attention back to our security faces. camera. Is a mistake, I'm afraid you'll see. Not forget, Officer Marshall. The days are short in Texas, and so are our tempers. Could you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? Why does what? he have so no. much hair on his chin? He's been cutting that shit for like, hours. Very well. You can clearly be seen in this video. I mean, I won't throw that, but... Exactly eight words. Not bad, partner. The key. Lies in certain locker shown in the video in a certain locker. Now, for some reason, I thought it was do still doing eight work. Thing. See this locker that has a little a white cloth sticking up. This is the witness's locker. I think Phoenix is supposed to be saying that. Yeah, <laughs> like I was wondering what the heck. Yeah. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. Why does the game have so many typos? I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's it's a, I mean, it's a game with a lot, a lot of text. So, I yeah. mean, there's bound to be some. I guess. Oh, the white cloth. It's gone. Hmm. What's the meaning of this, Officer Marshall? Huh? When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then it something appeared. That's only one explanation. Mr. Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What's, What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Nigga wearing skinny jeans. I beat your ass. Hold your horses. Sorry, partner, but you got the wrong man. So what if my locker was open? That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. Yeah, of course he's gunshot. The murderer needed to hide something, so he opened a locker and stuck it in. It's not my fault he happened to choose mine. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm wanted, man? Like you, sus. This guy isn't just plain dumb. He really doesn't know. Uh, I hate to rain on your parade, but you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah? I call your bluff. You say I opened that locker, now prove it. What's evidence? Uh, do we have the 777? Or... I don't know. I don't know. Board finger? You can't push your fingerprints? I don't know. Uh, what is the luminol thing? Or, wait, the fingerprint? Dust? Yeah. What does that say? Yeah. Uh, Handprints. What, what's it gonna say if we check it? Nothing. Okay. It's just the thing. Mm. Uh. Hmm. I don't know. I guess the best thing we have is the uh, the um. The, the damn, the, uh, fucking, the damn. All right, go to the right. Oh yeah, there is more. I forgot. <laughs> damn. No, never mind. Uh, wait. What's that thing right next to the handprint on the left? I'm slow. Get yeah, that thing. An unstable jar. I forgot about that, honestly. And what? What did what did what did the safe say? What did doing? This is talking about how the thing like up or something. Each locker is unlocked. You know, like this fingerprint. Oh, that. We, I guess we found the evidence locker. Mm -hmm. Show the fact that it's uh, what's uh, it called? a fingerprint sensor. All right, we talked about this earlier today. Uh, the lockers can only be opened by the detectives they belong to. What, mm -hmm. what kind of crazy talk is this? You really slow. Well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. In any case, the locks are not, aren't that obvious. There's even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. So, Sheriff. 
What do you have to say? In eight words or less. I thought he was dying. I was like, I only got one word for you, partner. No! <laughs> Yo. What the oh, heck? That scared me. I'm like, that was what some ghost. Order, order, order. <laughs> Witness, explain yourself, bruh. If this is a joke, it's the worst I've ever heard. Me watching my own. Oh, my. I assure you, this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Bars. Oh, late. What the oh. hell? Please answer the question. <laughs> That was a little bit racially charged. What is yeah, now? I told you that that. <laughs> That's all right, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure this the rest out from here because I'm that neighbor. We can. Have a look at these floor plans. Ah, thank I'm you just for playing the game for me, game. There is no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yet yeah, Officer Meek Seeks didn't see Officer Marshall. If that's yeah. Judge. If that's so, then where was the witness? It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right. The only possible conclusion. Well then, let's hear it. I slammed my gavel for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Officer Marshall was the one who sacked me, Seeks. Mm-hmm. Officer Marshall was standing right here. There, but, but that's where Ma that's where the dude was standing. That's where the victim de detective, goddamn, was. <laughs> Correct, unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in the video is Officer Marshall. Does he have blood in there? Mm -hmm. Tables. Phoenix. Oh shit, my bad. It was you dressed up like Detective Goodman. God. When I painted you, I thought it was oh, you saying that. That's weird. But that's preposterous. Officer Meekins witnessed the detective at the crime scene. Once he saw the man's face, he knew for sure. He got face. You shut your ass up. May I find out though that Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman? He also testified about the man's reaction when confronted. When I hit the damage room, I had to show a scar, sir. Yes, and how did Detective Goodman respond? He said, boy, if you don't put a knife on me. Something about the officer's story puzzled me. If the man had his ID card, why didn't he just show it? Yes, he would have needed it to enter the evidence room, so he must have been carrying it. The answer is simple. He couldn't show it. As you can see, Detective Goodman's picture is on the ID card. Oh, I get it. Do you? Oh, I don't. Please explain it. If he showed that, this cover would have been his cover would have been blown. Mm -hmm. Officer Meeseeks would have realized the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Yep, yep, yep. And do you have anything to say to that, bitch? You've got quite an imagination, partner. We got a term for that. It's called circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence? He's still denying it. That's amazing. You're gonna have to do better than that to break a detective. Unless you have hard evidence proving I dressed up as the victim. Hmm. Hmm. I can't particularly say, I can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative disposition. I just do not like you. You are very brown. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. You fucking... Well, Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence, any evidence proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that Officer Marshall dressed up as the victim so I can convict him and put him in the electric chair? Well, who am I kidding? I don't have anything like that. Yes, you do. I can see the fear in your eyes, partner. 
Seems you're the one who couldn't take the desert heat. <sighs> this can't be happening. So obvious he's the one. What can I do? Hmm. It looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. I'll pass on to you what someone told me when I was just starting out. When you've run into a wall with no place to go, return to the basics. Let's start crying. The basics. Mm -hmm. Rely on the Larry Butts to bail you out. <clears throat> for, for me, that would be what Mia used to tell me. Nick, try thinking outside the box. I, I guess she really passed on now because she ain't talking to us. I should have yeah, looked she's... for. I shouldn't look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. But rather, I should look for evidence that came out, that came about because he was in the... What? But I rather should look for evidence that came about because he was in disguise. Yeah. I like that grammar. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure Tables just read it wrong. Why yeah, do I think, think so. Why do you think this locker was open in the first place? What do you mean? There's oh, no reason. Uh, oh. When you... Shut up. There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open this locker at the time of the crime. Yet he did, despite the chance it might be discovered later as it, was, later as it has been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. According to the defense's argument, <laughs> Officer Jake Marshall dressed up as Detective Goodman at the time of the crime. Then, after the crime was committed, he opened his own locker for some unknown reason. Oh, we know why. The fact is that white cloth sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that. He opened the lock he opened it in order to put the cloth inside. So just exactly what is this piece of cloth? It's his costume. Perhaps. The cloth that was in the exhaust pipe? Perhaps the video is the key to all our unanswered questions. I don't have any evidence, so this video is my only shot. The third video. Mm -hmm. For the third time watching the same video. Very well. Let's take a yet another look at the security tape. I, I can't really, wait to I me. really do be forgetting I'm the judge every single time. After committing the crime, the witness opened the locker to put away the white cloth. Please show us why the witness had to open his locker. Watch just something randomly appear this Fast time. Fast forward to the uh, part where he has blood on his shoulder. Oh yeah. You know, I didn't even notice that blood on the shoulder there. I did. I, I, asked, I, I asked earlier why the fuck... I don't know, because I was slow, and I was like, why is there blood on this shit? <laughs> From the police officer that he damaged him. For some reason, he disguised himself as Detective Goodman. And into the evidence room, and I don't know what that reason was yet. Yet? However, something unexpected happened. Meeseeks. Officer Meeseeks barged in on you. He said I'm about when to When I asked to show your ID, you pulled a knife on him. However... I the way they dance. Officer Meek. There goes Darian. Hello? Hi. Officer Hello? What the heck? Oh. Discord just kicked me out. What the... <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Officer Meek is panicked. And the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. Just, oh my god, fuck. A bloody white cloak, Klansman? You couldn't just walk out like that. So you hid the coat in your locker. And you did a piss-ass poor locker. job putting it in there. Yeah, Not, that bad. Was, yeah. Not bad, huh, partner? That thing is really lacking. <laughs> now then, Officer Marshall. Are you ready to tell us the truth? You stupid like bitch. I'm Looks like I underestimated y'all. I hope you're happy now, Mr. Edgeworth. Damn. Two years ago, if you were only as if you're only half as persistent as you were today, we all wouldn't have to be here now, would we? 
Hmm, Officer Marshall, tell the court what you did. All of it. All right. It seems the time has come. I'm going to jail. Marshall's confession. I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I stole the detective's ID and dressed like him. I planned to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out and managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 515. This game has. Okay. <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> so the supposed victim was really you. Soldier boy, tell him. But there's one thing that I still don't understand. Large quantities of blood traces were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Officer Meekins managed to cut his own hand. My guess is he's the donor. It looked like too much blood for that. So I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I'm sorry, but Twitter got to chill out with these fucking notifications. I, for some reason, they just sent me a notification saying that some account Slim e Ebony said no gag reflex. I don't care. Who is this? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, when you say it, you mean... Do you even have to ask, partner? Uh, the SL9 incident? Two Why years have passed since that case was closed. It was going to completely end with the transfer that day. Ten years has passed. Not if I have to think anything to do with it. That incident's not over. But what did you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? When a case is closed, only the detective who was in the charge of it can look through it. The evidence. I wanted to have a look at myself one more time. No matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says, partner. That case is mine. But Officer Marshall wasn't in charge of that investigation. Why does he care so much about it? That day was my last chance. That's why I... <laughs> I stole the detective's ID and dressed like him. I plan to take out the evidence. Why'd you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman? If I didn't make it look like Goodman was carrying out the evidence transfer, I'd be arrested for stealing evidence, which wouldn't get me anywhere. So you did it to fool the security camera. And the detective's ID card? I stole that the morning of the incident. So that really was why Goodman started filing out that lost item report. I returned his ID card. I left it on the floor in the prosecutor's office parking lot. The ID card I found was left there by Officer Marshall. So essentially, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. What do you mean, partner? I mean the fingerprint activated lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Normally, that lock shouldn't have opened. So it opened because a rubber glove was stuck in the door by chance. Then Detective Goodman must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out. You pulled a knife on Officer Meekins and tried to drive him off? Let's just say I was a little surprised. I only planned on being in the evidence room for no more than five minutes. I didn't think anyone would actually come in during that short time. Fuck. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Meeseeks. Certainly, this... I'm sorry. Officer Meekins certainly is a one in a million type of reason. Person, what? He's not. He's, it said one in a million type of person. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Mistaking a detective for an intruder and demanding to be shown his ID. I have to think a little more about his race this year. Damn. When did Edwards get so much influence? That's what I'm saying. When did lawyers control the pay grades of these officers? What is going on? This this is the most corrupt court I've ever seen. They should change the name from Ace Attorney, uh, I mean Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney to Phoenix Wright. Uh, versus... They've been saying the whole game that the prosecutors and the police department work together. You know that, right? Ace Attorney. Anyway, he threw himself court. at me, and I ended up cutting him slightly. 
I'm sorry if I had to turn out that way. With me knocking him out and everything. I mean, why else would Gumshoe be Idris' partner? Come on now. Because they're gay. Tables, please read. <laughs> By the way, what happened to your knife? Oh, you mean this one? I don't know what to say. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Just how I admitted that he used the knife that he's cutting his beard with. That's crazy. Hmm. So what happened next? I managed to escape. I knew the areas wouldn't be caught. I knew I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on camera. And so you did your research before him. Those who go into the desert unprepared don't live long, partner. I didn't think I would make it would make a difference though. The security tape erased every six hours. If all I had gone if all had gone as planned, no footage would have been left. However, your bloodied coat and your struggle with Officer Meekins. If someone was in that security room when I came out, the Jake would have been up. Opened my locket and stashed it in there. Hmm, what was Officer Meekins doing during that time? <clears throat> what else? He was sleeping like a baby. So what you're saying is, on that day... I see clearly! There, has a, there wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 515. But the blood found at the scene certainly indicates a crime took place. What are you, blind? The victim shown in that tape is me, and I'm not dead yet, partner. So you stole the evidence from the locker. Actually, no I didn't. Why not? When I opened the locker, the evidence was already gone. What? Mr. Edgeworth! Where is that evidence? It's no. still missing, Your Honor. Why not? Detective Goodman's locker was already empty. Something, someone else stole the evidence. Was it the chief or something? Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Fire away, partner. It's a free country. Just remember, I'm also free to decide whether or not to answer. I think you're not here in court. Why'd you do this? Stealing a detective's ID, injuring a police officer. This is no small offense. Felony, felony. Moreover, you're an officer yourself. This will have serious consequences. It can't just be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. Not that salary cuts are ever a valid solution. <laughs> like I said, this isn't your case. This one is mine. Now do uh, anything it takes though. to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Alright, but go to jail then. Mm -hmm. The witness has an unusual amount of zeal. Let's hear more. <sighs> I can't forget the SL9 incident. You know why? Why? Wow. I don't know why. Tell us. But that case was involved two, was solved two years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> and that's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence room. Joe Duck was convicted for those crimes. One thing I can say for sure, he deserved his sentence. I remember the Joe Dark case. It involved serial murders. I don't intend to complain about how it turned out, but there's something that still bothers me. Something went down at that trial. Something no one will talk about. What? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to find out. Imagine. I don't Why is he know. He's so concerned with that incident. Maybe I should present him with a, with a, what I think his real reason is. I had a feeling we'd ride up here sooner or later. Everyone involved here is relating in some way to that case. I better take another look at the files. Oh, you know what to present. SL9, I guess, stuff? Uh, thing that has his, uh, his uh, last name on it. I don't know what it is. But... Oh yeah, mm -hmm. did we check these already? Yes, yes. I read them out. Oh, okay. My God, let go then. No lady do it. Hey, no lady do it. Officer Marshall, I, I, I mean, I think I understand. 
Do you I, mean, I think I know why you care so much about the SO9 incident. Sounds like you've been slipping too much cactus juice, partner. Cacti! Uh, Shout out to Dr. Scott, man. Anyway, I have the SO9 incident found here. I got the rope ready. <laughs> the name Marshall is mentioned there. Yeah, in a list of murder victims. Neil Marshall. You relate to this, man? Neil Marshall? Yeah, I'm sure you've heard the name. Two years ago, he received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. A prosecutor? No, a prosecutor. You must be talking about the King of Prosecutors award. KKK now award. I, now I remember, Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled, he handled the SO9 case before I did. That's right, he was killed. And the case fell into your hands. But what's his relation to you? I'm his younger brother. He was my brother. Hey, with that hat off, he kind of looked like, uh, what's her name? He was investigating the murders with Damon Gant, chief detective at the time. The group of detectives I was part of worked under them. We were desperate to pr prosecute the killer. Kira Yoshikage? Oh, okay. <laughs> Joe Dark. My brother fought Dark and was killed. That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was Where all that we needed. That was all we needed. Mm. He, was... That to a butter knife. he was a fuck. He a was rang? he was arraigned oh. and incarcerated. The case is finally closed. At least, according to the public records. What do you mean? Oh, uh oh, when you're nod your head, yes, but you're telling me no. What do you? Shut up. Boom, 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 boom. My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. I don't know, man. Take it, stop. And that's it. That's your reason for your insane actions. <laughs> There's more to he my doesn't brother's. Lose. There was more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. My brother doesn't lose to anyone. My brother is a shonen protagonist. Well, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the police department on the day of the crime. That was the last day the SL9 case could be reopened. Not satisfied with this resolution, Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence. Mm, disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he entered the evidence room. Officer Meekins confronted him, so he rendered him unconscious and fled. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. <laughs> The things that happen by chance never cease to amaze. At exactly the same time, the, uh, the murder at the prosecutor's office, this fake murder was going on at the police department. Chance? It's gotta be more than just that. So if no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime, that means... The murder in the prosecutor's office parking lot was the real one. Considering which, there was a dead body in the car. Which in turn means only one person could have committed the crime. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. Hey, but wait, hold on, bro, chill. But wait, a verdict wasn't reached in yesterday's trial. But it will now. <laughs> which is why we examined the incident at the police department today. But... There's only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. There yet remained a mystery in the, sim in the simultaneous murders at the police department. It seems to me this boy's got the draw on you, partner. I'm all about the to draw my penis out. All the mysteries. That was so fucking. Never mind. All the mysteries of the police department have been undercovered. No contradictions <clears throat> remain. Why did? Why does it keep doing that? The murder okay. took place at the prosecutor's office. The only suspect is on the sky. There were no errors in the testimony of the witness, Angel Star. 
Oh, there were plenty of errors, actually. I mean, there was only one, honestly. If you have a response, make it one word or less. Oh, I got you. Fa! Ah! <laughs> I rest my case. Ah! <clears throat> oh, you can rest. Now you can rest my nutsack on your forehead. It seems this trial has reached its conclusion. There is no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time. Disproving the alleged murder at the police department. Fade the black background. There's no doubt what I proved today is true. The apparent murder on the security camera's tape really was fake. But I didn't realize that would end up proving Lana guilty. Now then, the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. Waiting for the objection. There we go. Oh. Larry Butts, let's get him in. Let's get him in. Yo, it's Emma. Let's go. Honor, right? It's the goat. <laughs> After you've been roasting her the whole fucking. <laughs> Emma? The defense has an objection, a scientific objection. I hate her, killer. Right? <laughs> What's on the wall? You mean right? Mr. Wright, are you this girl's? Ooh, never mind. Guardian, <sighs> kill me now. Oh. Please, Your Honor, I'm all I'm asking is a minute of your time. <laughs> That's what Phoenix said. <laughs> please hear me out, Mr. Edwards. Please, you're my hero, a nigga. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. Now, how generous are you, Jessica? <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of in shock. I mean, finding out that the SL9 incident referred to the Joe Dark killings? Now that she mentions it, the names of both Sky's sisters were in that file. But that's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day? So I knew his fingerprint had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one thing, the other handprint. You mean the traces of blood from the Detective Gumshoe's locker? <clears throat> Darian? But no fingerprints were found on it, right? No, but I figured if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to find a clue. So I ran over there and looked at it again. Hmm, so did you find something? Um, no. Huh? Sorry, I guess I'm not that much of a scientific investigator after all. Oh, here we go with the self-deprecation. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, what is me? Oh, I'm I'm 16 year old Emma. Well, look at me, pity me. Right? Who is this? Tables? Like, oh my gosh, grow up. Anyway, um, is that all? Please don't be mad. I'm just a high schooler. Hell no! You're getting an electric chair right I'm now. I'm just an attorney. But Mr. Wright, those traces of blood shirt. are the only clue we have. If we can't find something wrong with them, please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If anyone can save Lama, it's you. Yeah, no. Me? Oh, boy. Time up. Sudden death. Mm. With regard to the incident at the police department, does any reasonable doubt remain? Um. Uh, it appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. Looking at the floor plans, a handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Mr. Wright, I'm sorry I can't be of more use. Yeah. But still. If you can, can't find anything wrong with the blood mark, Lana will be... Please Wait. answer my question, bitch. You don't have all day. Yes, Your Honor. If ever I wanted to concentrate, it's now. I needed to concentrate, it's now. He was talking to y'all. 
Anyways, what could be wrong with that handprint on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Could there be something I'm missing? Oh, I object. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why. Mm, that this handprint left at the crime scene. Peep game. <laughs> mm -hmm. The only thing that seems clear is your grasping, Mr. Wright. Oh, I'm a grass on your ball you sack, boy. Stupid. Keep talking nigga. to me like that. This nigga says this every case. When is he gonna learn? Anyway, read up. <clears throat> You've been staring pretty intently at my BBC or those floor plans. So, shit. Tell me. Is there a problem with them? Yes, this is strange. Take a Life look at these four plans. Something is missing. Missing? You mean something hasn't been drawn on there? Yeah, chin to chest. Something that, when drawn, will completely change the meaning of the blood mark. Mm hmm. Let us pray the defense isn't bullshitting. Very well, Mr. Wright. With all this evidence here, there's got to be something I can use. Question is, what item can prove that something is missing from the floor plans? Uh, is present the... the base? No, it's the nightmare. Wait. Ooh. Is it actually no, the base? I doubt it. What does the vase say? It's a jar runner. Yeah, piece is missing. We found in the evidence room. I think it's the badger because wasn't the badger in front of that locker? Oh well, yeah, it was. I mean, I guess. But I mean, but yeah. It was Dan. It was dancing. Oh, it was. It was right. It was right in front of it, that little blue light. That's where the blood joint is, right? Yeah, it was dancing. Yeah, that, it was. It was sitting right in front of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, present a badger. That is not a badger. I don't know who designed that shit. It was a uh, gumshoe. Uh, what about that? I mean, gumshoe. does Sonic look like a hedgehog to you? He still, I mean, he still has a nose and like quills. That a badger, like I rest my case. He doesn't have a. He doesn't have a nose. He doesn't case have like closed. the black nose. He doesn't have claws. Designed, it was, it the statue of limitations has run out. What about that piece of plywood? The blue badger, mascot of the police force. That defender of truth, guardian of proof. You know how that be. Ooh, boss, Mr. Wright. Explain yourself, though. Yep, 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 yep. Please, look at the floor plans of the crime scene. The blue badger is not here, squire. So? <laughs> because so watch what happens when we put him in. Mm -hmm. This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. Uh. <laughs> well... <laughs> well, what, nigga? <laughs> no. Yo, what's going on? That's right, so as long as the blue badger is dancing here, it would be literally impossible to place a handprint at this spot on the locker. What? What do you he just got attacked in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> So that's like, ah, ding 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 ding. That video is awesome. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so that means, uh, just exactly what does that mean? It means it can't be done. What? What well, traces are undeniably found on that locker? Don't look at me. I don't put it, I didn't put it there. When did I get here, Mr. Wright? Think it through scientifically. <laughs> she could have just walked over there. Him up. But why does she leave? She starts to testify. On that afternoon, Officer Meeseeks was the one who brought the blue badger to the evidence room, right? Oh god! After he put it down, it would be impossible to leave a handprint on that locker. So that must mean his blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in. How did he miss that? Just one moment. I will not allow such farted water water crap in my cock. Good job. 
Yeah, it may sound like that, Your Honor. But it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st, in the police department, evidence room, blood was spilled not once, but twice. But how? One time was captured on this tape, taken by the security camera. Or was it me can look at his hand from which a, a trivial amount of blood fell? But look at that. the problem is the other time. At least Sonic got ears. Someone bled prior to the struggle shown on the tape. I had to, uh, it had to have been Detective Goodman when he was really murdered. That's ridiculous. I refute you. The murder portrayed in a security tape has been proven to be fake. However, that does not explain the blood mark on the locker. So then, assuming this murder you pur purport really happened, when did it take place? I demand you show evidence that proves it occurred. When did the first incident occur? 420? To surmise, the defense claims that Prior to Officer Meekins being cut by Jake Marshall, who was disguised as Detective Goodman, another incident took place in that evidence room. The blood mark on the locker proves this. Very well. Then tell <clears throat> us, when did this first incident occur? Proof must be presented. On um, total, drama, proof that shows when the murder took place. Alright, that's only one piece of evidence oh, wow. that can show that. There's only one piece of evidence that can prove that. Now then, let's say hypothetically, the defense presented this evidence. What would show when the first crime took place? Is it that damn list again? The list of shits? Honestly, I think the leftist media doesn't want us to find out. Cause check. Cause Pete Game, right? You see that? You still don't know who the Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 that's man. facts. That's facts. Seven seven seven. That's fake. That's fake. That's just fake. Well, exactly. Me Why is it seven seven seven? Why couldn't it have been six six six? It's only Mildred Edwards didn't see that blood. That's crazy, bro. Before the event. Are you telling me? Well, it was white. We had to use I, a little. little oh, little and I mean, there's also the there's also the fact that uh, you know it's at the same exact time Miles came in, so you know like, that's kind of sus. Yeah, the same exact time, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> 40, 40, 40. Same exact time. If the person oh, placed yeah. inside the evidence room, then the perpetrator would have had to have entered the room in order to do so. An ID card is required. Pete. Then, uh, yeah. Shut up, bitch. ID card? Oh, the ID card record. <laughs> Officer Meekins bought the blue badger panel into the evidence room at, let's see here, uh, 450. The judge, the judge said the that. crime took place before that time, the it would be 440. The judge is, yeah. What have you done? What have you done? I never figured you had the nerve, boy. Put off the act, witness. It doesn't take a lot of thought to figure out it couldn't have been me. Hmm? Nope, I ain't getting it. I'm afraid I don't understand either, actually. It's clear from the luminol test that Bud was there. However, when the second crime took place, both Officer Megan and Officer Marshall failed to notice the blood. That means the blood from the first crime was wiped away by the real murderer. I would have been just ten minutes. It was it of it, it, it. I would have had just ten minutes to murder the victim, carry his body away, and clean up the blood. Unfortunately, that's physically impossible. Oh, it's not. Mm. You're you're a murderer, Darren. Yeah, I've done that before. Okay. Probably that would really. mean. The crime must have taken a place before Mr. Hedgeworth entered the evidence room. Bro, you y'all haven't you tell me you haven't carried a body out of the room. Let's look at the chart again. The bodies are heavy, Darian. For you, not for me, I'm strong. Card. There's only one card number remaining. Seven 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 lucky. seven seven. Seven seven seven. Talk about a lucky number. 
But, but, brap. That doesn't make any sense. How could Officer Goodman have entered the evidence room? Since there's no record of the card being used beforehand, he must have entered along with the real murderer. That's the only plausible explanation. He went in with seven. Bro, Edgeworth, please look into this as soon as possible, man. What the heck is going on, man? I don't know whose ID number does the seven 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 boom size eight boom so that's all up. That's one too many sevens, Your Honor. Unfortunately, I'm unable to look up the owner of that ID card, at least at present. Hmm. What? Explain yourself, son. The ID, the ID number is seven 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 belongs to someone with the rank of captain or higher, someone who is so-called executive officer. We don't have the authority to inquire into such a person's identity. But, but that's ridiculous. Just how? I'm not finished talking, Mr. Wright. Shut up. There's one situation in which we could be granted such authority. Ta Judge? Darian? <sighs> Judge! Judge! <laughs> Josh! Yeah, Hello? 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 Yeah. Okay, Discord did that stupid thing again. If an official charge filed against the next... Uh, um, is... Uh... Okay. <laughs> an, <laughs> an official charge. You're all alike, aren't you? With your cover-ups and your forgeries. That's how the prosecutor's office operates. They really be hating prosecutors. Bro, I take I take pride in my work, Officer Marshall. I would appreciate it if you would keep your slander to yourself. Slander, is it? Okay. Let me ask a question. Yes. No. Not to you. To her. The defendant sitting over there. Your own little executive. Alana? Don't be stupid. She's been charged with murder. Of course we've looked up her ID number. And it's not seven. Seven. Don't play me for a full partner. That's not what I want to ask. All I want to know is one thing about that incident. The SL9 incident? Answer me this, Chief Prosecutor. In that trial two years ago, did you really only use legitimate evidence? Where's she at? She's in the defendant's chair. Oh. It was good in my... Do you need to witness to repeat this question, Chief Prosecutor? She had to walk in. Yeah, I heard him brush and bitch ass up, sit over there. Two years Girl, ago, speaking. I was in charge of the prosecutor. I was in charge of the prosecution for the trial. At least at the time, we... Occasionally, we felt the powerlessness of the law. At least, I did. That's what makes it right. I became a prosecutor in order to suppress crime with the law. But before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. We were the ones. Defendant! What the hell? What are you saying, bruh? I'll ask you a gen, keep chief prosecutor. <laughs> a gen? <laughs> During that trial, two years ago, did you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look me, an investigator in that crime, in the eye and say that you did? Chief prosecutor! I, oh, I swear, I, 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 you didn't. I don't have to, Officer Marshall. I said nothing, um, young. Why don't you answer him? Because I'm above him, bitch. Drastic crimes require drastic measures. Oh, she a yes. psychopath. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to. In order for him to get the verdict he deserved. Yo. But Lana. Even if. It involved forging evidence. Lana facing sideways, Lana <laughs> facing sideways. <laughs> she really did be doing this court. This court is so corrupt, bruh. So as. See? That's what I'm talking about. No. No! Everything I know is a lie! Order! Order! <laughs> Lana's remarks caused such a spur. 
The chaos in the courtroom could not be quilled, quelled. The conclusion of the trial would have to wait until the following day.